This video goes over question 15 and is the final question of the rational functions assignment. In quantitative learning theory, the rational function f of x equals blah 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 is used to model the number of successful acts per unit time that a person could accomplish after x practice sessions. Suppose that for a particular person enrolled in a typing class, f of x equals 60 times parenthesis x plus 2 close parenthesis over x plus 6 with a domain restriction x is greater than or equal to 0, where f of x is the number of words per minute the person is able to type after x weeks of lessons. A. What does f of x approach as x increases? And then sketch a graph of the function f including any vertical or horizontal asymptotes. So that first one is pretty easy to answer. So we're really just looking for the a horizontal asymptote. And we're going to think as x approaches positive infinity, not negative infinity, because we're greater than 1, then f of x is going to approach 60x over x. So we're going to be approaching 60, so our horizontal asymptote is going to be y equals 60. And this is kind of counterintuitive because it says this particular person can't get faster than 60 words per minute no matter how much they practice. So nice work. Then it says to graph, find the y-intercept. Well, I'm going to graph this whole function even though it doesn't say to do that. So I'm going to put in a set of axes. And I'm going to go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, then 60, 70, 80. We'll go up to 80. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 5, then negative 6. So I'm going to have a vertical asymptote. If we work through it, we're going to have a vertical asymptote. So x plus 6 equals 0, x is going to equal negative 6. So vertical asymptote is x equals negative 6. And we'll put that on in red. So here's our vertical asymptote. We're going to have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 60. And x equals negative 6. And then my uh, x plus 2, it's really 60 times x plus 2, but if I divide both sides by 60, set the numerator equal to 0, divide both sides by 60, I still get 0 over here. So x equals negative 2 is the uh, x-intercept. And then the y-intercept, we're going to evaluate the function at x equals 0. So 60 times 0 plus 2 over 0 plus 6. So that's going to be uh, 120 over 6, which is 20. So we'll put on the y-intercept. So we're going to get something that looks like that. And over here we'll have another leg over here. Now for this particular problem we're only looking at greater than or equal to zero. But this is the entire function and to sketch it you really kind of need to know the x-intercept. So we'll go look at the this big picture in the calculator. So there's my vertical asymptote, there's the horizontal asymptote, and in this context we're only worried about 0 and above. So that's what it would look like if we're going to match a uh, graph. So the y-intercept, as we figured, was 20. Excellent. And then choose the correct graph. So we want to have a horizontal asymptote at 60. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, uh, this 1, 2, 1, 2. Okay, so that's 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So that's the one that matches. Check answer. Good job. 
And that concludes this video and this assignment.